Brother, you see this? They just received a supply run two days ago. The Ragni worked fast. Where'd that supply ship come from? Checking. This base is supplied by drone freighters. Dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Let's get this over with. Somebody needs an ass kicking. Whoever it is, we'll find them there. Right. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect. Hill here, and we're on board the bridge of the Normandy, about to land on the planet Al Tahi. Al Tahi is an exceptional form of planet called a Roche world. Put simply, it is one half of a pair of small and unusually dense terrestrial worlds, Al Tahi and On Tahi that orbit each other so closely that effectively share a single atmosphere. This does not mean that one could fly from one to the other, but both have identical atmospheres and the dust from one often can be found on the other. Both worlds share an atmosphere of nitrogen and ethane. The surface is warm and mainly composed of silica dust and dark basilic, basalic rocks. With extensive deposits of heavy metals and radioactives, tidal effects from Antihi create constant heavy wind. All right, let's get our landing party together. Have no idea what's here. I'm trying to remember from experience Let's go ahead and take a uh, Rex, and we're gonna take Garrus. Trying to remember from playing before, I think that it is the Rachni that are out here. I I don't know, but this is not something that is in the journal. This is just uh, exploration. All right, Altahi Planet Fall successful. All right, what's on the map? Only one thing, a listening post. All right, let's head in that direction. Wow, I can barely see. It's very dark here. Be careful, this looks like the type of planet that would have thresher malls. Is there that big open area out there which I am not going to drive on? Even though we still, we still badly need the experience because we are sort of a long way off from level 60 by hundreds of thousands of experience points. So anyhow, we will continue on. I just don't like fighting pressure malls. I don't know what it is about them. Uh-oh. Is that? Okay, we've got two things here, and it looks like enemies. Alright, let's first go here to what looks like a crashed probe. It's a shame. Uh oh, I heard some noise too. All right, got it. Oh boy, you know who it is. It's Matriarch Dilanaga again. And uh, more of her writings. So we'll go ahead and take that. We've just got so much uh, money, credits. It's like we couldn't even spend it all. Okay, let's prepare to go to this outpost over here, and I'm going to save. Because it looks like trouble. What on earth is...
is that sound. I've heard, I haven't heard anything like Now look at this open area. This looks like Thresher Maw territory as well. All right. Look at those mounds. What is this? Is this is this rack guy? It is. Wow, the spit has already destroyed our tires. Okay, I might need to stop going around in circles. Are you kidding me? I can't stand how the... I can't hit these things. Oh! heads again. Woo! We got a bunch of them. Are there still more? No, that might be it. Okay. Well, we've certainly accumulated a lot of experience from this, so we should be much closer to level 60. Let's just check. Um, really? <laughs> okay. Yes! 704, we're closing in. Oh, and Garrus, while we're here. Um, what are we gonna give you? Turian agent or sniper rifle? I'm gonna give you Turian. I'll just max that out. And Rex? Oh, what is this glow here? Uh, we will strengthen your throw. Alright. Save here. And I think they want us to go inside this uh, base. Let's see what's in here. Another corpse. Really not a good sign. Oh boy, is this hard decryption? Alright, I'm just going to get my Omni Gel out. Because this is like. A... Just go ahead. Let me use my Omni Gel. Alright, a Storm 10 shotgun. You know, weapons we don't need. I'm looking for armor, if there is ever any good armor. Oh, oh, look, another locker. Again, with the hardened decryption. Okay, Omni-Gel time. And it still doesn't look like anything. Just a bunch of weapons. Thank you. Uh-oh. I see uh, enemies up ahead. Let's go ahead and do another save again. Alright, weapons ready, people. Oh, and Rex. Use your shotgun. Thank you. What are these things? I bet they're rack nine. Yep. Look at this. Let's do 
Still got a couple more out there. Oh, there's still more. I thought that was it. Guys, get out there. There you go. There's still another one, though. Rex, did you All get clear. it? Yes. Good job. All right, what else is in here? Upgrade kit. Snow blind rounds. Nope, don't need these. See anything down here? No. Let's go on in this door. Hmm. Got more things to pick up. things are everywhere. Alright, wetware. What have we got? <gasps> a Savant 10 Bionic Amp and a Polaris 10 Biotic Amp. Let's take them all. I think I've got the Savant 9. We're going to go ahead and... snow blind rounds we can turn that into omni gel okay let me change out my amp okay not much of a difference at all but hey we'll take it and somebody else can probably use the uh I think I'll probably give it to Lee. They can use the Savant 9. Okay, uh, let's see if I can't break into this. Oh, man. Got it. Okay, and these are all weapons, and I don't need those. It's another locker. Got it! Okay, and we don't need any of this stuff. Okay, this is empty. Let's do another save. I thought I saw that there was a... Yeah, there's an exclamation point up here, so... Let's save, because I don't know what's going to be behind this door. Alright, come on, people. Okay, it's an empty room, that's good. With a terminal. An emergency FTL comm. Which one do we use first? We'll go with the Mayday! Uh -oh. Mayday! Uh -oh. Mayday! This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. Okay. I guess this was the listening that was overrun. I think we're a little late. Okay, let's open this terminal. Commander, you see this? They just received a supply run two days ago. The Ragni worked fast. Where'd that supply ship come from? Checking. This base is supplied by drone freighters. Dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Let's get this over with. Somebody needs an ass kicking. Whoever it is, we'll find them there. Right. Oh, the Rachni infestation on Altahi 
seems to be the result of a supply drop from Argos Row. The logs downloaded from the freighter should allow you to backtrack the ship's course to its origin. All right, we have downloaded the logs. Okay, I think this room is empty except for those ugly spore-like things. Oh no, look, a malfunctioning object. Kinetic coil 10, gel that. All right, let's go. So, we're going to do a little bit more exploration of this system. But I think our work here on Altahi is done. was the only thing on Altahi, the listening post. So, let's return to the Normandy. Alright, let's see what else we've got here. I think there were two systems here in Styx Theta. Yes, let's go over here to Erebus. Alright, we're approaching the planet Nepmos. Ah, and we can land here. Alright, let's survey the rest of the system first. Alright, the planet Wormani. And we can survey. Okay, we found a Prothean data disk. Right. We're not going to read all that. We'll just accept that it's a Prothean data disk and move on. The planet Chofin. Nothing there. The planet Quaji. And it can be surveyed. hungry for experience. We are fastly approaching level 60. Alright, let's go to Nepmos. And what does it have to say? Nepmos is a resource-rich terrestrial world somewhat larger than Earth with a dense atmosphere of sulfur dioxide and argon. Nepmos crust is very thin and unstable, not more than 8 kilometers deep in any location. Subsurface mag magma flows are a hazard to ground travel and earthquakes are frequent. While heavy metals and radioactives are plentiful, this geological instability has deterred investment by mining concerns. An additional complication is that the Styx cluster lies uncomfortably close to the five kiloparsec ring around the gal galactic core. The ring contains a great deal of molecular hydrogen, fueling the majority of the galaxy's star formation. This area is too dangerous to safely travel. All right, let's get our landing party together, and I think we're going to use the same party as before. Fall successful. And what have we got on our map? Oh boy, a bunch of stuff. Um. Oh, anomalies, anomalies. Alright, we'll go over to this first anomaly here. Way 
this is laid out because I, I like to do the uh, the mission part last so we can just head back to the Normandy but the way this is laid out we're probably going to have to drive back and forth across the map okay okay where is this thing here a buried safe box that's something new One of the miners had a League of One medallion. It's possible he discovered it while they were digging, but there's no way to know for certain. Okay, we got that. Let's go. Map, please. Alright, we're going to go to the debris over here, and then we're going to have to go all the way across over here to this anomaly, and then back to the listening post. Desolate planet. Very volcanic looking in appearance. I think they did a good job. Wait, what's that over there? Is that where we're headed? It doesn't seem like it. There's some sort of antenna or something. We're about to get into this, uh, these terrain problems. Oh my goodness, here we go. Here, look. Complete loss of control of the Mako. We got minerals over here too? I don't think we can even get up this. See, this is one of these things like, you know, this isn't very steep, but yet it doesn't seem like we can go up it. I tell you. I'm gonna keep going. I'll pretend like I didn't see that. Whatever that thing was. Hopefully we can climb this. Oh my goodness, it's struggling, but we're, we're getting up here. really dark on this planet. Okay, there it is. It's like one of those crash probes. Redeploying. Got it. All right, frictionless materials 10. Take that. Oh, well, we got it all. Okay. Good enough, let's go. All right, map please. And, okay, we need to go back across here. But, there was a mineral deposit in the area. Let's see if we can't get that. Oh, well actually, we're, it's all in the same direction. right here. Okay. It's so dark I can't see. <laughs> it's a th titanium deposit. Got it. All right. Now. Okay. We've already got it mapped. All right. We're headed to the listening post. A minute. What's this? Has this been here the entire time? It's not on the map. All right, we 
you're gonna go in here. This is weird. Let's go ahead and save. Oh, we can't go in it. It's just a, a prop. Okay. Let's get out of here. We probably just should have ignored it. This is another one of these planets with treacherous terrain that makes it hard to control the Mako. Sunrise? I'm not sure. Sunrise or sunset? Very nice. Oh, what? Is this something here too? What is this? What the heck is this? Oh my god! It's a trap! Look at this, look at all these rachni. Probably need to save again because if this listening outpost is out overrun too, it's going to be another ambush. Looks like we've got another mineral deposit up here as well. I'm not seeing uh, red all around it. That's interesting. Whoa. Oh, is this because... Hold on, we're going to do a save. I mean, it seems like those... Is that those nests? I'm not sure. Are they just going to start popping out of the ground? digging here. Look at this. Alright. I do want to check out these uh, structures. There could... Whoop! Whoop! Okay, we made a discovery. It appears these particle bores were shut down after breaking through into tunnels just below the surface. The shacks and equipment are stenciled with the logo of the 
Tenkara Mining Consortium. But there's no place of the mi there's no trace of the mining crew. Yeah, I'm sure they're all dead. They've encountered the Rachni. Can we go in these buildings? Okay, we got a medical kit. All right, stay on alert. There could be Rachni popping up at any moment. It's a technical kit. A kinetic exoskeleton and frictionless materials. Take that, somebody might need the frictionless. I might have frictionless nine, I might need 10, let's see. All right, let's go. Um, I guess we need a repair also. Get those tires. Just in case we do run across more of the, the Rachni. Or is this it? Is this the area? I think this might have been it. I mean, they're not expecting us to go down in this... Uh Hit, are they? No, it looks like it's lifeless. Okay, it looks like we're done. All right, let's return to the Normandy. Well, we found the two listening posts that were in the, uh, let me, let me get the names of these things right. Hold on here. Okay, we found the two listening posts in the Styx Theta cluster and, um, you know, overrun by Rachni. So we've put an end to that, and I think we have a few more areas on the map that we can investigate before we head to Ilos. Because once we go to Ilos, that's the ending of the game. There are cutscenes and things that are going to happen that uh, are just going to unfold, and we have no control over it. So I want to make sure that we uh, complete all the side missions that we're aware of and um, you know then we will go ahead and finish the game all right well this is hill and I'm out